morning student in this video we are going to understand motion of the charged particle in a magnetic field so here we have the different cases when the charged particle enter at different angles its uh, motion will be different right for example when the charged particle enter case number 1 here we discuss case 1 when particle enter enter at theta is equal to 0 degree so this is the magnetic field this is the magnetic field this is positive charge or this is negative charge suppose uh, they are moving along the magnetic field so here theta is 0 f is equal to q v v sin theta theta is 0 so force will be 0 so charge will not experience the force or it will keep on moving it keeps on moving along the direction of field so its path will be its path will be straight its path will be straight its path will be straight and the motion will be motion will be uh, uniform means its velocity this will be the uniform motion its velocity will be constant because it is although it is moving but force is zero so if the force is zero so velocity will uh, remain constant we know so its motion will be uniform path will be straight second case case second now what is the case second when particle enter particle enter at theta is equal to 180 degree so what happen at 180 degree these are the this is the uniform magnetic field echo distances it is represented by the echo distances line uniform magnetic field means at each and every point magnetic field will be same magnitude wise and direction wise if it is two tesla east in at one point it will be remain same in every point so here suppose this is positive charge it is moving in this direction or this is the negative charge again it is moving in the same direction so theta is equal to 180 why do you 180 these these are the these the magnetic field lines they represent the magnetic field so magnetic field is in this direction or charge is moving in the opposite direction so theta is 180 degree so force will be q v v sin okay 180 sin 180 0 so again the path will be a straight here path will be straight and because force is zero motion will be uniform uniform motion in these two cases so when the charged particle enter in a magnetic field at 0 degree or 180 degree its path will be straight and it will be uh, its motion will be uniform now third case this is the case third third case when charged particle enter when particle particle enter when the particle enter at, at an angle when the particle enter at an angle 90 degree so what happen particle enter enters particle enters enters at theta is equal to 90 degree means it implies perpendicular to perpendicular to magnetic field so here i am taking the magnetic field on a uh, equal distances these are the equal distances point represented by and this magnetic field is a uniform magnetic field perpendicularly inward if the magnetic field is represented by equal distances cross points this is the perpendicularity inward if the magnetic field is 20 tesla here it will be 20 it will be 20 everywhere magnetic field assigned to the magnetic field is tesla t e s l a tesla okay and the the magnetic field equal distances point it is it is perpendicularly outward and the magnetic field which is uh, like this it is perpendicularly inward now suppose this is the charged particle and this charged particle enter magnetic field now look at this one at an angle this is the velocity and magnetic field is inward so magnetic field is inward this is the velocity so the angle is uh, so and uh, look at this one this is the magnetic field this is the velocity so this angle is 90 degree okay so now what happened at 90 degree f is equal to q v v sin 90 and this will be q v v sin theta this f acts perpendicular to velocity always ये जो force है जब भी काम करेगा ये velocity के perpendicular act करेगा because of which we represent this force we represent this force f is equal to f is equal to q v cross v cross v this force is represented by v cross v so it is the cross product of these two but logic is not that it is represented by the cross product logic ye nahi hai ye experimentally proved hai naturally ye force iske piche koi logic nahi hai jab bhi ye force lagta hai to it always perpendicular to the velocity so look at this one right hand palm rule hamara right hand palm rule ye maine jo aapko right hand palm rule bataya hai let us see the right hand palm rule this is our uh, this is our right hand 
this part is wet so it is difficult to write right over here so suppose this is this is the right hand uh, sorry this is the uh, this is the left hand not right hand suppose this is this is my right hand as i told you cross product jo cheez nikalni hai that is perpendicular to the palm this is the direction of the force and this is the velocity and this is the magnetic field b b is the magnetic field so magnetic field finger ki taraf hai ye velocity hai ye right hand palm rule so i am applying the right hand palm rule magnetic field is perpendicular inward this is the velocity so this will be the force this is the magnetic lorentz force now this force is perpendicular to the velocity it will change the direction of velocity suppose it change the direction this way so now suppose the particle is right over here so uh, this is the velocity and magnetic field is inward magnetic field andar ki taraf hai uh, magnetic field is perpendicular inward this is the magnetic field is perpendicularly inward okay magnetic field is perpendicular inward so this is the velocity this is the magnetic field this is the velocity along the thumb so force will be act perpendicular to the palm palm ke perpendicular so this this is the magnetic force again it will take the charged particle right over here here you also take the magnetic field charged particle must be inside the magnetic field suppose this is positive charge v this is the velocity and magnetic field is inward so force will be in so similarly if you take everywhere you take at this point this is the velocity magnetic field is inward so force will be in this direction so this force will act always perpendicular velocity so it will act as a centripetal force a force which only change the direction not the magnitude that and always perpendicular the velocity so that force act as a centripetal force so this force act as a centripetal force right uh, so now this force act as a centripetal force because of this we write f is equal to q v cross v right so now what happen uh, every force which acts uh, toward the center it changes the direction not the magnitude it acts as a centripetal force so if it act as a centripetal force so this force will be uh, now this force will be given by this force will be given by if f uh, act always perpendicular velocity and it change it changes it changes on the direction it changes only only direction it changes only direction of direction of velocity right so ye sirf velocity ki direction change karta hai so it it act it act as it act what happened it act as it act as centripetal force centripetal force so therefore f is equal to mv square by r because suppose this particle of mass and ye particle hai mass ka hai aur iski velocity bhi hai to isko ghumne ke liye the centripetal force required is mv square by this is the centripetal force required centripetal force ek aisa force hai ye iska formula hai but this force is not a, itself a force then those force which are uh, it is a force formula of the force this is the force required by the particle whose mass is m velocity is v and moving the radius r so if this uh, particle is moving in a uh, radius r in a circular path with velocity v so this much of force is it is required but who will provide this centripetal force which force act as a centripetal force so in in case the charged particle moving in the magnetic field this magnetic lorentz force act as a centripetal force this qvb sin theta provide mv square by r so because of these two this <coughs> now we can write mv square by r is equal to q v v v v cancel out so m v <coughs> so we can write uh, m v upon r is equal to v v cancel q v or this r is equal to m v over q v so this is the radius of circular path m v over q v this is the radius this radius circular path ne m mass of the charged particle v is its velocity q is its charge b is the magnetic field this is the first thing which we get second thing is the uh, <coughs> we time period time period 2 pi r over v what is radius 2 pi radius is mv over qv upon v v v cancel this v cancel so time period is equal to 2 pi m upon qv this is the time period of the charged particle in circular path time period means ek pura chakkar jitne time mein lagayega in one complete circle it will complete in this much of time second third thing is third thing is uh frequency frequency is one upon time period number of uh, number of turns number of circle it will complete in one second that is called frequency one upon time period so it will be qv over 2 pi m 
so this is <coughs> the frequency okay so this is the radius radius of the particle in the magnetic field where sorry this is the radius of circular path of a charged particle which is moving in the magnetic field so this is the motion of the charged particle so here when the charged particle enter at an angle uh, 90 degree what happen its path will be path will be circular it move in the circular path so we have discussed theta is equal to 0 theta is equal to 180 theta is equal to 90 now we have other than these angle means acute angle theta is equal to 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree that i will discuss in the uh, separate video and that in that case if the if the theta is not uh, here we have discussed one case 90 degree one case 180 one case 0 degree so one case is uh, other than these three angles that in that case the path of the circular path of the charged particle will be helical helical means uh, the charged particle will not only move the circular path but also move um, along the magnetic field magnetic field ke along the so because of combined the combined motion of these two motion it move in the it moves in the helical path so when the charged particle moves at an angle uh, greater than 0 and less than uh, less than 90 so its path will be uh, helical right so we will discuss it in the separate video thank you